Hello everybody, I'm Just Lance and I'd like to welcome you all back for another video. Um, let me start by saying thank you so much for all of you who commented on the last video. I did not respond with anything other than hearts because, well, um, I didn't know what to say, you know. Um, a number of you went ahead and uh, passed along your condolences, and that was enough. Um, you know, it 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 meant something to me and my girlfriend. Anyways, so um, as you can see, this is another three and one video. Um, last tag video I did was a three razors, one shave, or one shave, three razors video, um, which nobody tagged me in, and I tagged three people. Um, however, this time, I have been tagged. Thank you, Justin, the Red Island Shaver, for the tag. Anyways, um, in this one, it's the um, three soaps, one bowl throwdown, as he calls it. Um, I forget who he said tagged him. But if you're not familiar with Justin the Red Island Shaver, um, he's another visually impaired YouTuber, and he's up there in Canada. Anyways, um, so I'll be going ahead doing the shave, and I'm going to tag a, a couple or a few people. And uh, so let's go ahead and let's take a look at what we're going to be using as far as the soaps go. I'm going to call this mixture, I'm going to call it Colony Bay. So, let's go ahead and take a look what we're going to use. The first soap, got to have a bay for Colony Bay. So, we're going to use Bear Sturman's Bay Rum. It's a bit of a spicy scent. Really good. Oh, and the bowl I'll be mixing everything up in is my Blue Timeless Lather Bowl. Let me get here my... Mickey Mouse spoon I use for scooping out my soaps. It's got a good decent sized thing. Um, oh, two quick things I want to say. Um, we're going to use about that much. Um, my girlfriend's father, Jim, James, um, he wasn't 80 in his early 80s um, he was 90 I said he was born 1927 I had that totally wrong he was actually born August 27th um, 1929 so he was 90 he would have been 91 this year and I said he liked to say be happy on purpose I messed that up too his actual um, thing he liked to say was feeling good on purpose. So let me go ahead and rinse the bay rum off of this here spoon. The next soap is where the colognes come in. One moment here. And it is a sterling soap. It's in this little Taconic Urban Woods tin. Because when I got it in a piff, it wasn't in a tub. It was actually wrapped in cellophane. It is an oud scent, and it is Sterling's Agar. As you can see, I've scooped out quite a bit here and there. I really like this soap. I love this scent. And we're going to use that much. So, I sat and I sniffed these cameras. I huffed these suckers off camera as soon as I got tagged. Actually, before I got tagged, Justin, me and him, I told him, great video, this and that. And he said, I'm probably going to tag you too in the video. It's like, okay, so I went and I started huffing soaps. So, got those mixed. So you can see it's building up to a nice little bit. Hmm. Yep. The spicy note of the Bay Rum 
does kind of complement the um, agar or agar, whatever you want to call it, the oud scent. Um, I haven't used this soap in a while, and the last time I used it on camera, I believe I was using it with my 1967. At the time, I called it British Knack, which actually it's a British Slim Twist. And I was saying that at the time, the video I saw, um, actual real oud, once it's distilled out of a tree bark, because it's like a fungus, it goes for crazy amounts of my more than gold. So, um, so I imagine that Rod and Mandy out at Sterling doesn't use real oud, which is fine. It's got a great scent. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go with a cologne scent that um, a lot of people, they like it, they love it, they want some more of it. <laughs> um, and it is Taylor Vogue Bond Street Sandalwood Shaving Cream. Uh, I love the scent of this stuff too. Got this picked to me at the same time I got the agar. And you know who you are. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is quite a bit of shaving cream right there, folks. Um. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to have a buttload of this stuff going on here. But then again, when you can't see that well, sometimes you just get more than you bargained for. So, we're going to go with about that much. And we're just going to drop it right down on top of there. So, let's go with a touch more. What the hell, I'm feeling, I'm feeling reckless tonight, guys. So, There we go. Finally, 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 finally. So, we'll see what kind of lather I get out of two soaps and cream. Might work out great, may not, I don't know. Um, Justin, the Red Island Shaver, when he did his, he used Parasol Red which is a sandalwood. It's not cologne like this. Parasol Red is a pretty earthy scent. And you can find it in most most places that sell shaving stuff. Um, you know, it's not real expensive. I forget what I, I paid for my uh, Parasol Red. But it's not a whole lot. Um, as far as what some are. Eh, it's not the greatest quality stuff when it comes to slickness and all that, but it ain't bad. Um, and the other one was, I forget which company, but it was, it's called Red Jack, and the other was from First Canadian Shaves, Shaving or whatever it's called, and oh my goodness, it was a rose and something or other. I can't remember exactly what. Had my brush soaking in my Art of Shaving Copper Mug. And it's one I did get for Christmas, and it is a little bitty Burma Shave Boar Hair Brush. Um, it's red handle down here. Up here it's white, and the little metal ring around the base of the knot where it comes out of handle is black. So, let's go ahead. And let's see what kind of results we get. So... Hope everybody's doing well. The thing I like about Bear Stern Man and what do you call it? Um, Sterling, they both can take a decent amount of water. Uh oh, that might be a little bit too much. Hopefully not. Um, So 
so we'll see. Not sure of the knot size on this little board brush. Um, oh yeah, that's oh yeah, that's starting to whip up nice. Um, I'll see who I'm gonna tag at the end. I was thinking about tagging um, shooting a shave, <laughs> but yeah, um, that didn't work out. He got tagged by a couple of guys already, so, and, so, we'll see. Yeah, it's starting to whip up nice. Just standing there while it was standing up. So we'll go in. Oh, that smells really good, guys. You get the spiciness from the bay, from the bay rum, oh, and the oud from the agar. Underlying uh, sandalwood, a um, little more on the sandalwood, a little heavier on the sandalwood, um, but oh man, this is really, really nice. Um, I think the scent straight on the top sandalwood is a little, 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 oh, gosh, you know what, I just might go ahead and I just might, one of these times, Order myself a fresh tub of each of those, and I just might make a franken croak. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna get my face wet. But, whew, yeah, that's a beautiful scent right there. I really, really, really like that a lot. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. But this little vermiche brush was for my son. And, uh, it's kind of the thing. Um, and his mom wants to get me. Uh, I imagine that she has a little more to put on it than my son does. He's four. So. Um, but last year from them was a Schick type, a Schick Eversharp type G injector. Actually, it was in the case. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> damn. Unfortunately, hmm. oh man, I almost snorted a glob of soap. Damn. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Hmm. That was messy. Oh well. You all live once, right? thing about the Type-G injector in the case was it 
didn't have that little little injector mod, the little the little key injector, the injector with the key on it. Um, that came with it. That was that was gone. Okay, so where'd my razor go? The uh, razor, if I could ever find the dang thing. Oh, it's hanging up here. My hanger. The razor is one that I like. Some people's not a big fan of it, you know, because um, to some it's a little too mild. But it's the McCore 34C. I want to make some shims for this um, razor blade shims. Um, my second razor, I love this razor, it will always be in my den, and the blade is a brand new Persona Platinum, also known as Persona Red. Oh yeah, that's just butter, 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 butter. Oh yeah, that's going through nice. But, um... Some, like I said, they find this razor a little too mild. Mm, that's a real nice scent. Really just pervading and, you know, just saturating your know, factory scent, so to speak. But, um, yeah, some people are not a huge fan of the um, 34C. Some are, some aren't, but I really like it. Um, it was worth the money. Definitely not. Yeah. Persona Red Blade is just mowing through this stuff. Only had like two and a half days growth, so. For me, my first couple of days growth kind of Kind of coarse, but it comes in slow. And then it seems like all of a sudden it just kind of accelerates. Anyway, let me rinse this off. So, all right. Yeah, I was thinking of different combinations. I was thinking of um, taking some. PAA samples I have and combining them and I know and make a pretty citrusy did I just have soap cook in my shirt? No. Have a some some uh I thought Fine orange noir and K Shape Works Hump Day and and Sterling's Piacenza and said no and then I settled on this. So oops. Damn, did it again. So, there we go.
Bam. So, I'm gonna go across the grain now. But this is probably the, I don't know, third time I've used that bore brush I got from my son. So it's pretty decent one so far. Yeah, if you use sterling, and bear stern man, or bear stern man, and or, I should say, you know they're very slick. If you use tail bond tree, you know it's some pretty good stuff too. So if you use all three, well, maybe you got no deal how what kind of slickness I've got going on here. I mean. It's great. I like it. In fact, <laughs> let's make this interesting, boys and girls. I got more than enough lather there in my bowl, but let's see. Let's put them to a test. Here we go. I'm going to come out with a shitload of. Um, razor burn because if you can't see this Justin I am going against the grain with no soap or cream on my face I figure if you could sit there and you could hack it out Doing a pass with Miracle Whip, then, um, you know, I could hack this out, bro. So, yeah, look at that. You just slide right along. Taking it right off. Oh, yeah. It's not skipping or anything. So right there, that tells me there's some slick shit I got going on right here, guys. Uh, Trevor, I, uh, Really, really like your um your first in the mirror video. If you ain't, if none of you guys, any of you don't follow Trevor B, check him out. Um, he's honest. Um, Tells it how he sees it. And, uh, he's not really concerned with whether somebody likes it or not. So, 
but he didn't end the mirror thing. And uh, when he was describing his moment, um, when he realized he had a light shaving problem, so to speak, it was like, I don't know, it was truly like sitting in a meeting or sitting somewhere, listening to somebody that was admitting it was addicted to something. Um, yeah, <laughs> it really was. And uh, good video though, great video actually. Um, I don't have the kind of funds it takes to buy that many soaps a shot. So, um, one of my channel benefactors sent me a whole bunch a couple of times. So, but anyway, so that is the shave. I'm going to go ahead, rinse off here, cry off camera from the razor burn. No, just kidding. Oops, right there. Um, go ahead and shave my head and after I rinse off and I will be back for the post. So I'll see y'all in a minute. Hey guys, you might notice I got whiskers still. Anyways, it's not that I've got whiskers still, it's that my camera completely, well, my iPhone 4S, which I film with, um, I don't know what happened, but it stopped filming in the middle of the head shape, I mean, the middle of the push shape part, and I didn't realize it, so half, half the post shape part's missing. So, anyways, um... The way I do these videos is I do the face shave, then I stop the recording, then I do my head shave, then I restart the recording, and I do the post shave, and I just merge the two videos together. That's the way I've always done it. Anyhow, so, um, yeah, so I'm going to re recreate this part, so to speak, to the best of my ability. Um, first off, post shave products. Dickinson's Witch Hazel. Um... You've seen that many, many times every shave. You've seen my um, Nivea for Sensitive Skin Aftershave Balm. Uh, that's what I used. And the aftershave was Panag Clubman. Now, the gear. Mercura 34C with a Persona Red or Persona Platinum razor blade um, on its first use, um, also known as Persona Reds. Um, yeah, inside a 34C. Um, absolutely beautiful pairing, that blade and that razor. If you got those two, um, you probably understand what I mean. Um, the Persona Red is one of my favorite blades. Um, I mixed the Sterling Agar Soap, Bear Stern Man Bay Rum Soap, and Taylor Bond Street Sandalwood Shaving Cream up in my Timeless Lather Bowl. And my brush was my um, Burma Shave Red and White Boar, boar Hair Brush. The handle's just simple plastic. Um, it's not vintage, uh, so, or not that vintage. Fits, you know, they don't make it anymore. It hasn't been uh, that long since they didn't, since they stopped making it, I don't believe. But anyways, um, that was that's a wonderful brush. If you can get one, get one. They're great brushes. Nice performing little boar hair brush. Um, uh, the soap, the three soaps combined, the performance was absolutely off the charts. The slickness, glide cushion was absolutely phenomenal. I got absolutely zero cuts, zero nicks, zero weepers, zero creepers. Um, I mean, you guys saw me shave my face against the grain with nothing more than the residual slickness. And I got a little bit of razor burn here and here. I might have already said that. I'm not sure. That's like the third time I've done this part. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was just great. If you guys got those three soaps at home, Meet yourself up a little thing, a little thing combining them. It's, it'd make a great croak. And it's, the scent is just absolutely beautiful. The, the oud from the agar, um, it just, it just like, I mean, it's there. 
and it kind of like you know the 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 bay rum kind of you know mingles with it and it just they complement each other so well and then the then the cologne then the tops sandalwood just puts the cologne part scent part up another notch and it's just a wonderful wonderful scented uh mix and uh, just wonderful performer wonderful performer anyways so I, once again, I'd like to thank Justin, thank Justin, the Red Island Shaver, for tagging me in this. He tagged four people, so I'm going to tag four people as well for this. Three soaps, one bowl, throwdown, as he titled it. I'm going to title it the same as he did. Anyways, so, the tags are, number one, if you haven't seen him, check him out. He's from the UK, from over there in England. Um, Nick Searles are from Britain. Um, Nick Searles, um, uh, absolutely great guy to, to communicate with on Facebook. If you're in any groups he's part of, um, and you've interacted with him, you know what I mean. Um, great guy. So Nick, tag. The second one is going to be a lady. I've tagged her before and Jill from She Shaves with Jill, that is you. Um, I find her perspective on stuff interesting because, I mean, it's a lady wet shaving, guys. I mean, you know, uh, that's kind of every wet shaving dude's dream, isn't it? Uh, a chick that wet shaves. So, yeah, she's, she's I'm tagging her. Uh, the third is... We're friends on Facebook, and that is you, Rich Hansen, from um, Rich Man Shaving. Um, so, Rich, let's see what you do as far as three soaps go. And last, but certainly not least, he hails from the um, land down under, good old Australia, and that is Steve the Daily Shaver. Let's see what you go ahead and come up with, Steve. Um, you know, who knows? Maybe you can go ahead and you can... Uh, Mix it up in a kangaroo's pouch. I don't know. But anyways, um, so let's see what you guys got. Anyways, I hope you all have a good one. Um, you know, I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. And I think I mentioned it in the video, but if, if I didn't in the shaving part, once again, thank you everybody for such kind words that that commented on my last video for my father-in-law who passed um once again thank you for the kind words guys anyways so that's it i'm done i'm out of here and i shall see all of you on the flip side of the blade bye bye now